The James Webb Space Telescope is a space telescope for infrared astronomy. Webb obtains raw data using advanced instruments. Then the raw data obtained by Webb are transformed into a form that our senses can perceive. But this process raises some question marks in mind. What instrument does Webb use to collect raw data? And how does this data become what we can perceive with our senses? Finally, is the final version of this data that we have real? In order to answer these questions, first of all, it is necessary to understand the difference between the light at the beginning of the universe and the light reaching the human senses. The expansion of the universe affects the path light takes through space. As the universe expands, light traveling through space is stretched. Therefore, most of the farthest objects shine in infrared light, which has a longer wavelength than visible light. We cannot see these ancient infrared lights with our eyes. Webb was designed to capture these lights. Webb uses four instruments to collect the raw data. Each of Webb's four instruments is designed to study a wide variety of objects and events in space, including planets, stars, galaxies, gas clouds, debris disks, black holes, and dark matter. What makes each instrument unique is the special combination of components, observation modes, wavelength range, a field of view, and resolution. Let's take a brief look at these instruments. The first instrument is the Fine Guidance Sensor. This instrument is a guide camera designed to point the telescope in the right direction. It is packaged with the near-infrared imager and slitless spectrograph. The instrument it is packaged with has a camera and a spectrograph for taking images and spectra in the near-infrared range. The second instrument is the near-infrared spectrograph. This instrument is a special spectrograph capable of capturing a hundred spectra simultaneously with the micro-shutter array. It can take spectroscopy for many objects at the same time. The third instrument is the near-infrared camera. This instrument is the only near-infrared device with a coronagraph. It captures high-resolution images and spectra in the near-infrared. The fourth instrument is the mid-infrared instrument. This instrument is a camera and spectrograph that observes medium and long infrared radiation from 5 to 28 microns. Scientists need to make adjustments to turn Webb's raw data into something the human eye can appreciate. But in doing so, scientists preserve reality. Even if we were at the distance where the photos were taken, we would not be able to see these images captured by Webb as we see them now because our eyes cannot detect infrared light. Also, our eyes are not as sensitive to light as telescopes. The advanced instruments of the telescope present these cosmic objects in a more realistic and detailed way than we can see with our observations. Webb captures different ranges of the infrared spectrum. It can take images in up to 27 filters. Scientists first isolate the most dynamic range for a given image. They then scale the most useful brightness values to reveal the most detail. They then assign a color to each infrared filter. These colors correspond to the visible range of the spectrum. The shortest wavelengths are assigned blue. Longer wavelengths are assigned red and green. After these are combined, Adjustments such as normal white balance, contrast, and color settings are made. In this way, the difference caused by the stretching of the light in space is eliminated, and the raw data collected by Webb is made in a way that the human eye can perceive. <laughs>